Hey folks, Aldo here. For those who may not know me, I'm a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. And now I've made it my mission to help others thrive and succeed in their own journeys. Now, have you noticed just how popular jobs in the data sector have become? I mean, big data is huge right now. High demand, juicy paychecks, high impact work. But if you spent any time researching the various opportunities within it, you might have ended up more confused than when you started. And that's because of the multitude of job titles out there. So today we're going to be breaking down the differences between three key roles, data engineer, data analyst, and data scientist. We'll cover each role in detail, discussing what you'll be doing, the different skills you need, and the potential pay that you can expect. So without further ado, let's get into it. But before diving into the differences, let's talk about why data roles are in high demand in the first place. And if you really think about it, it all boils down to company success. The biggest factor that separates companies that fail versus those that succeed is their ability to collect, understand, and act on data. Companies that excel in these areas are data-driven, meaning that they make their decisions based on data insights rather than personal opinions. Many companies struggle with tracking or understanding their data. However, top performing companies, including Fang Giants, have mastered this skill. As a result, the demand for data professionals is skyrocketing, with no signs of slowing down. Let's quickly start with a high level overview of each role, and then we will dive into the details a bit later on in the video. We'll start with data engineers first. Data engineers are the architects of data. They set up all the tracking systems and tools to ensure that data pipelines run smoothly and that the information is collected and sent to the right people. Not only that, they also clean the data and remove any errors to make sure it's ready for use by other teams. Next, data analysts take the raw data collected by the data engineers and turn it into useful information. They create charts, tables, and graphs to help others in the company understand and make decisions based on that information. Essentially, they bring the data to life and determine what's important separating the signal from the noise. And lastly, data scientists use complex algorithms and statistical methods to forecast predictions and run various scenarios and simulations based on the data. They advise management on what actions to take based on their analysis, using tools and methods to provide insights that help shape the company's strategy. Alright, now let's dive a bit deeper into each role, starting with data engineers. As mentioned earlier, data engineers set up the systems to make sure that everyone else has reliable data to use. As the saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. If the data isn't clean and accurate, it can lead to inaccurate conclusions. They create and maintain data pipelines, design and implement data storage solutions, optimize data systems, and ensure data quality and integrity. To do this, data engineers need proficiency in programming languages like Python, Java, Scala, and SQL. They also need experience with big data technologies like Hadoop and Spark. And finally, they should be familiar with cloud-based solutions such as AWS or Google Cloud. We don't teach all these topics at Zero to Mastery, but we do teach most. So if you're interested in stepping into this role in 2024, click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the description below. Now, we can't break down a role properly without talking about the salary expectation, right? I mean, money is one of the most important things. So data engineers, on average, make about $129,000 a year, according to ZipRecruiter. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty good to me. Many data engineers have degrees in computer science or related fields, but it's not always a necessity. What is a necessity, though, is a solid understanding of data structures and algorithms, because as data engineers, you need to understand how systems scale. Next, let's look at the role of a data analyst. Data analysts focus on understanding and preparing data to be sent to other teams. They clean and prepare data for analysis, run queries, and create reports, tables, and graphs. For example, Netflix is a data-driven company. They use data to predict things like how many customers will cancel if they increase prices, or to figure out which thumbnails will get the highest click rates in different regions. Because of this, data analysts need to be technically savvy and good at communicating with other teams. They should be proficient in SQL, Python, or R, and use data visualization tools like Tableau, Power BI, or Excel. Now, for our data analyst role in particular, we do have a step-by-step -step career path that you can follow that teaches you everything you need to know to get hired. 
I'll link it in the top right hand corner, as well as the description down below. According to ZipRecruiter, the average salary for a data analyst is $82,000 per year, which is not a bad figure considering that more experienced data analysts can easily double that. Many data analysts come from a background of math, statistics, finance, economics, or related fields, but again, that's not a requirement. Lastly, let's look at the role of a data scientist. Data scientists act as advisors for data-driven decisions. They analyze and understand data to extract insights, make predictions using machine learning tools like TensorFlow, for example, and advise senior leaders on actions to take based on those insights. Now, it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to notice the overlap between a data scientist and a data analyst. Believe it or not, at smaller companies, one person might have to handle tasks across both roles. But the important thing to remember is that a data scientist focuses more on forecasting and strategic advice. To give you some context, let's say Netflix wants to predict what new shows will be popular next year. A data analyst might provide detailed reports on current viewing trends, while a data scientist would use those reports to build models predicting future trends and advising on what types of shows to invest in. Now, when it comes to technical skills, data scientists need a variety of them. They collect and clean data using languages like Python and R, build predictive models with libraries such as TensorFlow or PyTorch, and use time series forecasting techniques to help make predictions. If you're interested in becoming a data scientist, then feel free to check out our step-by-step -step career path. I'll link it in the top right hand corner as well as the description down below. Just like the other two roles, this role doesn't disappoint in the salary department either. According to ZipRecruiter, the average salary for a data scientist is right around $122,000 a year. Not bad. Many data scientists come from a background of math, statistics, or computer science, but again, with the right mindset, anyone can break into this field. And that wraps it up. I hope this video has provided some newfound clarity for you on these three popular roles in data. If you're still hungry for more details, don't worry, we've got you covered. One of our amazing instructors here at ZTM put together a written guide on this exact topic. I'll link it in the top right hand corner as well as the description down below. One more thing, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. As always, feel free to share your thoughts, questions, or comments down below. That's it for me today. Keep learning, stay dedicated, and I'll catch you in the next one.